Delicious treats made out of magnet balls? Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyla Keen, and welcome to Magnet Cooking. That is literally the name of this YouTube channel. Uh, I started getting this suggested because I was watching all those other magnet videos where they were building like really cool, elaborate vehicles and stuff out of magnets. Well, we're not making vehicles out of magnets today. Oh no, we're making sandwiches and all kinds of other stuff. And it's gonna be awesome. Apparently those buttons just turned into cucumbers. Do you put cucumbers on your sandwich? I... I kind of dig it. I, I like the crunch from a cucumber. Doesn't add a ton of flavor, but it definitely adds just some some texture. There's your turkey. You just fold a piece of paper and, and you get some lettuce and there's... What is that? I don't even know what that was. That was a can of something. There's your lettuce. I love this. The subway menu. What is happening? That, that just flew out the window. Uh, obviously, we're making a Subway sandwich, but I'm hoping that we're going to make some other crazy stuff. Was that tuna? Okay, there's the bread. It's so cool. It looks so good. There's your mayo. Oh, scoop it on with an ice cream scooper. You get those cucumbers. You got some veggies. You got some purple meat. I don't know what the purple meat is. You got money in your movie jar. No idea what's happening, but uh, it looks delicious either way. Got another another piece of bread, I guess. You're making everything disappear. Oh my gosh, that looks insane. That looks so good. And then you put it in a paper airplane and send it off to the movie <laughs> jar. Huh? Get yourself a Pepsi. There's a story going on here that I do not grasp at all. A burger vending machine. For real? That's something that we need to make happen. Cost a dollar, but he put in two dollars, so he wants two burgers. Uh, oh, there's an entire restaurant on the other side of the vending machine. <laughs> All right. Available burger. There it is. That doesn't look like a magnet burger. Yeah, nobody wants Play-Doh burgers. We're here for magnet burgers, you weirdo. Oh my gosh, he's so angry. You're, you're shaking the whole house, the whole establishment. Hmm? He's so mad. I don't want Play-Doh burgers. What is that? A cement mixer? Okay, she has a plan. Flour. You put flour in the cement mixer, and it spits out hamburger buns? This is how hamburger buns are made. That that egg looked so good. It was just a, like a frame of the of the video there, but it looked really good. Okay, and they're getting baked up. Delicious. We got a big old hunk of meat. We gotta grind that up in the cement mixer, of course. Comes out a burger patty. There's your cheese. Are you done being so mad? Really? You go to a vending machine, you don't get what you want. Do you attempt to jump into the vending machine? Seems like psychotic <laughs> behavior. He's punching a cement mixer. Oh my gosh! The burger factory is out of control. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a beautiful burger. I agree. Eat it up. Okay, what are we making now? What is happening? Someone living in a in a cave? In, in a jail cell? A jail cell in a cave? Getting pretty bored. Oh, there's your Oh. Why is it got green goop coming out of it? Yeah. Yeah, that can't be good. The escape plan? Punch a hole in the wall. The freedom keys. They're right there. Oh, I always get the lemons and the freedom keys confused. <laughs> I love that. He had the choice of grabbing the keys to his escape from prison or the possibility to make a pie? Are we making like a lemon meringue pie? But why do we have potatoes? <laughs> I'm not going to overthink it. What are you? 
Oh gosh. Ah! He just turned that creature into bacon. Okay. Got some bacon. What are we making? We have potatoes, bacon, and lemon? That does not sound good. It's all just one hodgepodge of, of liquid now. Well, you're going to take those fish. I like how he just tapped it and it like filleted the fish instantly. Some flour, egg? Oh, we're making dough. Okay, so it's like a... It's like a shepherd's pie, but it's a fish shepherd's pie? I don't know. It's got fish heads sticking out of the top of it for some reason. That does not look good. But if you're in prison, you got to do what you got to do. What's going on here? You got you got fish in your in your drawings of water. <laughs> Seems dangerous. <laughs> That's cute though. Holy cow! You're you're a whale. You gonna help him out with some math? <laughs> Just filled the entire room with water. Okay. <laughs> he brought the ocean. To, to this guy's room. Oh. Why are they still moving? <laughs> Alright. You're gonna murder that octopus, aren't you? The poor octopus! Fight back! Oh. <laughs> Where'd the rainbow fish come from? Did did the did the octopus throw up those rainbow fish? Is that where they came from? <laughs> this is wild. Okay, those look like they look like dentures, but I guess they're onions. What is that? A button. Yeah, get some butter on there. Okay, we're gonna cook up. Okay, we're gonna cook up some shrimp. Will they turn pink? Because that's... Shrimp are gray, like, before you cook them, and then they turn pink. Or, like, reddish when you cook them. Are those scallops? No, they're... They're oysters? Not a big fan of oysters. Hey, yeah, they did turn... They turned red. <laughs> that's great. Ah, oh, I'm hungry now. How's that oyster? I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Even if they are cooked, I mean, I could do like clam chowder. That that that's that's pretty good. Clams are okay, cooked in into a bisque, a chowdery, delicious treat. But I don't I don't really dig the oysters, like raw oysters. No thanks. What is going on here? Why why does that guy have such a such an evil look on his okay. face? What's that, what's that thing? A thousand bucks for fish? Oh! Hmm. That does not look appetizing. Certainly not worth a thousand bucks. It's the same fish they served at the prison. Why has it got green goop? <laughs> oh, plus, yeah, hundred dollar tax. Sheesh. You deserve this. Actually, you don't, but... Now you're stuck to that chair. Oh! Oh! Oh gosh, okay, yeah. Cover the face. Don't let it see you chop it up. <laughs> it's so disturbing. What is this, butter? Cooking up that butter? Dr. Howes? Okay. Melted butter. Your, your, your cup was on fire there. Just pour the melted butter on top of the fish? You smash it. There you go. You got your garlic cloves. You can't just put raw garlic cloves. Oh, okay. Okay, you're cooking it. Still a strange recipe, but I respect it. I love the names of all the appliances. That, that, that said boar on it. Followed by some words that I could not read. But it did say boar. I want a toaster oven that's, that I can call a boar. That's some broccoli. Some boiled broccoli. I like broccoli. I don't know if I like boiled broccoli. I guess steamed broccoli is pretty similar. But you gotta have a lot of butter. 
Or at least salt and pepper. Hmm. You just mash that potato in your hands. Oh. There you go. That's... We just tied him up so that we could feed him. Okay, now give him a bill. <laughs> Alright, doing a little sheep trimming. Some sheep shearing. What are you doing, man? Is that littering? You just threw the the wool into the water? Why would you do that, though? Just because you're being lazy? Oh, that dude does not like that. He doesn't like his pond being full of wool. Just kind of fair. What is he, anyways? Is that an orca? She's shooting eggs at your face? Is a salmon? <laughs> he just murdered that guy with fish eggs. <laughs> what? He's gonna eat you. Spider-Man caught him. Oh no. Well, that salmon is now dinner. God oh my gosh, she just ripped his head off. <laughs> I love the chopping. I have to admit, but was it necessary to just rip his head off like that? Guy was just defending his house. It was getting full of sheep wool. He didn't want to swim in sheep wool. What was in that bowl? I wasn't even paying attention. Was it just water? Oh, no, it's rice. It's rice. We're making sushi. Salmon sushi. It's one of my favorites. A little wasabi. <laughs> That's such a cool color. I love it. Then you just press it down. Yeah, there you go. And then you add the, the fish row on top. I like that. It looks so good. It looks really nice. I need soy sauce. Man, now I want sushi. I like how he feeds it to the sheep. <laughs> He doesn't like spicy food. I will say, wasabi has a unique kind of burn. It goes like straight into the nostril. It makes you feel like your your nose hairs are being singed off. Anyways, what are we doing here? We got a we got a watermelon of sorts. Whoa, that was cool. That was cool. The way that like oh. Oh. Oh, he's okay. He's trying to make a rainbow watermelon. Interesting. Hmm. Well, he just ate the paint. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it just... <laughs> my face! <laughs> you just cut my, my watermelon body in half. That is really cool, though. It's a rainbow watermelon. I love the way that he cut it. That was wild. Okay, now we're rolling it up into like a watermelon sushi. This is crazy. I love it though. Add a little sugar. Sure, why not? Mix that up. Are we making are we making watermelon pie? Rainbow watermelon pie? Froth it up. Uh oh. Technical issues. Just gonna have to mix it by hand. Sorry, man. Didn't seem that hard. You, you managed that just fine. Okay, so we have some kind of the uh, batter. Rolling it up. I mean, I bet it would taste pretty good. I don't know if watermelon that is rainbow colored tastes any different than regular watermelon, but it looks cool. <laughs> That's for sure. It looks really cool. Okay, we're getting some sprinkles. Bake it up. Looks good to me. If only it wasn't actual magnets. What do you think of that? That's a thumbs up. Watermelon. Oh, Mentos and Coke in a watermelon? Okay. Okay. I gotcha. It's gonna blow up. Oh! 
<laughs> Love it. Oh no. Certainly, you can't figure out what happened here. It's not extremely obvious by all the evidence that is laid out right before you. Clean up your mess. You turned one of my watermelons into a science experiment. How dare you? He's begging for forgiveness. Okay. Cleaning everything up. There you go. Great job. All right. Now are you going to do something with that watermelon? Nice. Watermelon balls. Delicious and refreshing. Huh? Oh, disgusting. I am not drinking that. I do not care how delicious it might possibly be. Dude literally vomited that Coke into a watermelon husk. Uh-uh. Farming carrots. Those those are like little clay carrots, but they they look so good. They I mean they look so fake, but they also look very good. Just something about the bright colors against the kind of dull dirt color. Even that cabbage looks good. And it's just it's literally like water plant. I mean, isn't that what like like lettuce? Iceberg lettuce and stuff like that. It's it's just water flavored plant. That's the best way I can describe it. It it has no flavor. <laughs> but but some reason when it's fluorescent green and made out play doh, it looks very appetizing. Oh no. Hey. Are, are we? Okay. I was I was I was worried that we were going to turn that cow into a meal. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That poor cow. All right, well, you got it. You know, you got to make the best of a bad situation. Use a hacksaw to cut through a watermelon. What is that watermelon made out of? Well, technically, it's made out of magnets. Uh, but using our imagination here, it's just it's watermelon. Okay, it's just a very strong watermelon. This is a meat grinder, isn't it? Used a meat grinder to, to remove the hard shell. Okay. Gonna blend up, make make some like watermelon juice. Okay. Oh no, we're making watermelon popsicles. Whipping cream? Oh my gosh. That is genuinely a genius idea that has to be good i think you might need to add, you might want to add like a little sugar maybe to the to the whipping cream but there's no way that's not good what is this that's just the rind the rind of a watermelon is not good it's like bitter and weird <laughs> turned it into a cake I don't know about that one, but the get the get the popsicles. Ah, yes, they're done. Ah, yes, <laughs> that I I might actually like legitimately try that in real life. Blend up a watermelon, add some whipping cream, some sugar. Selling watermelon. I guess that's what this guy is doing. He looks like a Minecraft character wearing diamond armor, though. That is, uh, that's an impressive spit shot. Took out a fly with his spit. Championship of Giant Fruit okay. Competition 2021. Impressive. Hmm? Show me your finest watermelon. That's a big watermelon. The guy, it's so big, the guy died. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, um... I don't think I would eat that. You're going to eat it. No, you can't eat that. There was worms living in it. Even if it does transform into magnet blocks. 
<laughs> he just took a huge bite out of that thing. Holy cow! Two bites? <laughs> Whipped cream. It- oh, no, 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 no! Nobody wants that. And then you're gonna put it on the watermelon that already was infested with them? I'm just gonna take that mustache. Because that's what I wanted, was a dude's mustache in my ground-up worm watermelon. <laughs> He, he loved the smell so much that his mustache grew back. That's impressive. Eat up. That can't be good. That's your hair. He liked it. It's the moon. It's a rocket ship crashing into the moon. Dude, the rocket ship transformed into an airplane. That is one of the coolest things ever. Is this actually a transformer from another planet? Are you going to turn into Optimus Prime? No. Okay, you turned into a, a car. You're destroying everything in your path. McDonald's? You turned into a Big Mac. <laughs> Worst Transformer power ever. Imagine Optimus Prime. A sentient alien creature coming from a, another dimension, basically. Has the power to transform into anything and chooses to become a Big Mac. Kind of a downgrade, if you ask me. What is happening, though? This thing is crazy. Is this is this an alien? Are you eating an alien right now? Are you sure you want to eat this? I, all right, you know, just do what you do. Do what makes you happy, I guess. <laughs> okay. Look at a little, little... Oh, it's bread! Okay, so we toasted the alien bread. Optimus Prime bread. Take a Rubik's Cube. Of course. You have to solve it first. And then... You turn it into a sandwich? <laughs> what was the purpose of that? I don't know. Cook an egg. It scrambles in the bowl. And turns into a perfect square. I gotta cook with magnets more often. It's just so easy. You can grow lettuce on your eggs and tomatoes. Look at how perfect that looks. That is so satisfying. Bacon. Oh, we're cooking up bacon now. Okay. Throw it in the pan. Sizzling. Get that bacon grease going. <laughs> If you've ever watched Bacon Cook, uh, it, it, yeah, that's, you just, you stare at it for a few seconds and then it just instantly, there's a point where it just, it, it transforms into cooked bacon. Oh, that fire seems pretty happy. He's having a great time. He's eating eggshells. Fires love eating eggshells. That's how you keep your fire happy. You don't want an angry fire. Oh, I like how the edges are a little burnt. Ooh. Little over easy egg. Okay, we got some like pumpernickel bread. I don't know if that's actually pumpernickel, but pumpernickel is the only brown bread that I know of. I'm sure there's many other brown breads, but that's the one I know. Maybe rye bread? No, rye. I don't know. <laughs> is that the fire? <laughs> it's a fire. Okay. Be careful. He, he is a fire. <laughs> All right, just murdered that fire. Apples. Yum. Please, no worms. Please don't have worms inside of the apple. <laughs> That's so cool. Leaving the little magnet apple core. Weaselheim? What did that say? There's some kind of flower. I was just trying to figure out what the brand was. Your flower is dangerous. It's an angry hand. Flora. Made with the goodness of sunflower oil. Okay, so it's like it's like fake butter. I can't believe it's not butter. 
I can't believe it's actually just magnets. Okay, we're making a dough. Normally, uh, like butter and and flour is like a pie dough. Typically, I oh, all those baking shows that I watched growing up paid off. I used to watch the Food Network a lot when when I was a kid, and I never really got into cooking, but I enjoyed watching other people cook stuff and pretending that I could make it myself and never actually trying. I should have. This guy's making an apple pie. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. You gotta have, yeah, you gotta have the little, you know, the holes. Because that's how you let the, the air. Otherwise, doesn't the crust break or something? I don't know. Again, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. This is all just information that has somehow embedded itself in my mind uh, for some reason. A little butter on the top of the, the, the pie crust. Mm. I do like apple pie. I'm not going to lie. I like me some apple pie. Hey, is this the boar toaster oven? No? I don't know. They didn't show the logo. It is! I'm so excited about that. Uh, it's powdered sugar, right? With a little tea? I don't know. I like, I like uh, apple pie. What's a good drink to go? I guess milk. It's probably a good drink to go with apple pie, but definitely a la mode, little <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Now that hits. That hits real good. Oof. I got to go eat. I'm hungry. <laughs>